Hey you, this is Jamie from Capsule Computers, and welcome to Play Me Maybe. How things work is simple. I'll try a game I've never played before for about an hour. At the end of the hour, I'll decide if I'd be willing to continue playing the game. Today we have Sheltered from Unicube and Team 17. This survival strategy game is available now on Steam, so without further ado, let's get into Sheltered. Alright, so I think we'll just go with survival right off the bat. Let's see what we get. Uh, we'll go with normal, fog of war, yeah, we'll just go with the uh, defaults here. Alright, so we are looking after a family of two adults and two children. We can customize how they look, set their traits, and their stats. Alright, we'll just go with the default, I guess. We'll just randomize everything here. We'll go with that, and we'll go with that. I guess we'll go with that. Default. Here we go. Randomize. Here we go. And there we go. So we'll just go with the defaults here, and we are now ready to roll. Uh, yes, yes. Definitely want to go through the tutorial. Okay, so traveling through forests and mountains reduces the party's travel speed. Makes sense so far. Alright, so we are living in like a fallout type bunker. Cursor to the edge of the screen using left stick and the camera with right stick. Okay, so seems like we're just emulating a, a mouse cursor with our controller at this point. Uh, press the A button to interact, and the shelter is powered by a petrol generator. Okay, here's our generator. Okay, so we are definitely short on fuel. And fuel. Get ourselves a little fish going. And we must constantly have fuel going. Alright, so we're gonna select Sharon Lynch. We can rotate. So what do we need to fix here? I guess it'll be the generator. Alright, the icon is easy enough. Red bar for water. Okay, so that's, I guess, our water purifier. Kind of like the Sims here with a little less automation. Okay, we need to survive as long as possible. We can explore, expand, and maintain the shelter. Explore for resources, and expand with a workbench. Let's start that expedition. Uh, party size of two. Okay, so do one adult and uh, send one of the kids out too. Let's do a short little expedition to the school. That's close enough. It's probably a good first expedition. And preparation is key. So we'll need items to trade and defense. So get a gas mask here for Francis. And I'm 
wonder if this petrol can could be used to, to fill things. Oh, no, we'll, we'll get rid of that and give him one petrol can. Uh, some water and food. The, that as a weapon. Confirm. Equip. One more pipe. And a gas mask. And I guess let's send this party out. So what else do we have? Hazmat suits. Uh, journal to tell us how things are going. Moe is our pet. And here are our supplies. Okay, shelter door. Is there anything else we can start like, repairing or upgrading? All right, so let's, let's see if we can upgrade it. Oh, we're getting a transmission. All right, we found a school. Yes, check it out. I suppose that's where we can start crafting items. Uh, first aid kit is probably a good safe bet to start off with. Um, let's add some fuel there. All right, let's examine what we have in there, and I guess this is what we can take with us. Okay, so we'll take something for the kids. Magnesium looks handy. Something for stress relief for the adults would be good. Don't, we don't really have recycling. You know what, let's see how much we can cram in here into our inventory first. Uh, what can we get rid of safely? I wonder if we can come back here later. really want to keep that valve. It seems like it'd be really important. Okay, we'll just go with that for now. Yes. And uh, hopefully they'll be returning soon. In the meantime, let's see what sort of upgrades we can get here. Workbench. look like we can... I don't think we need to do too many expansions right now. Ah, yes. I think these upgrades to the gender generator is going to be pretty high priority. Wonder... Oh, here we go. Okay, the water filter. Decontamination, efficiency, and durability. Probably decontamination is a top priority.
Okay, so we can now transfer items and everything we don't is stored in the item bin upstairs. Cool. Let's just take everything and then I guess we will... And then let's just upgrade the oxygen. Speed up time. Let's do that upgrade. Kids are already busy, so we'll have boost. Oh, we need to build one, okay. Let's see, craft item. Uh, bed. We'll slap one right here. Now that Francis is in the suit, we'll do this upgrade. Take a suit and do the other upgrade. What is this camper van? I'll have that. I'll have the little kid check this one out. Alright. We can use this eventually to do long range expeditions. Cool. Alright, let's increase the durability of the water filter and then. Later. Oh, we're already quickly running out of space. Um, don't know where I'm going to be able to stick this other bed. together.
also gonna need to craft that shower. Man. I don't know how you people are supposed to manage more than four characters. Let's get this shower going. Hot and heavy already. Where is the toilet that we need to craft? Okay, we can do a bucket toilet, but can we get something? Better yet? Ah, here we go. Makeshift toilet. Not entirely sure how we're supposed to expand again. There's a... No, there's no way to go back to the tutorial. this clipboard and I think we can have enough room to jam the toilet. that allowed us to expand out further. It's not this hatch. mode.
We'll set them to automate for now, but I'm still trying to figure out how to... Where am I supposed to increase the shelter size? Ah, here we go. It's in the craft. This is... Uh, there we go. Alright, that will allow us to build the toilet. out to do an expedition. Again, I'm guessing we're just gonna find the stuff from earlier. Oh, okay, we got some extra goodies. Let's see, cement will be handy. Ooh, screwdriver. We haven't got one of those yet. I can see the pipes are going to be really helpful, so we'll take that too. We'll come back. Someone's trying to enter. Okay. Who is this person, Michael? Alright, what do you want? Trade for the right price. Uses light bulb, switches, and sand. All right, let's offer him it would actually be really nice to see how many items we have our inventory without having to go through all of this. Okay, let's offer a fuse for a broken TV and we'll go with that for now. Okay, toilet. Space for the toilet, finally. move all of our uh, sanitation stuff downstairs for now.
wonder if it's actually possible we can make some space for a second bed. I think that would be really helpful about now. Go with the sleeping bag. Okay, I think we're finally starting to get a hang of this. Controls are a little clunky. Uh, personally, I would prefer to be able to use my mouse and keyboard, but I'm not actually able to rebind keys, and I'm actually using a Colmac keyboard, so we'll just have to use a controller for now. Let's send out another expedition with... Sharon, she seems to be in a uh, good spot. Okay, we'll try the small house this time. the speed we're making water. Seems like that's going to be a big issue right now, so upgrades it is. like someone who knows how to survive arm again well i've made it this far this is what i've got to trade take it or leave it don't piss me off uh no thanks i forgot to bring anything to trade oh well, no charisma but at least it's not a fight okay let's see what we've got in here Definitely want to take that. Uh, yeah, stuff tape is always handy. Uh, glass jar. I think we'll take the sand because I don't think we got lock picks quite yet, so might be a waste of uh, space. It's seemingly in a good mood. Let's see what we can build here. Um, our short hinges. And stairs. Oh, we can actually upgrade to a larger water container, which I'm sure is going to be super helpful. Let's see where we can stuff this for now.
Um, let's leave some of the recyclable items outside since we can't use them quite yet. Transistors. I think having that recyclers will be a top priority. Oxygen filter. And what else can we upgrade? Oh, that's Francis. Seems like we're burning up a gas mask every time we send out an exploration party. So I guess we will be building more this summer. What do we need for them? Ooh, rubber is expensive. Let's have Sharon craft a few more masks. Witness a traumatic event. Take that with us. Alright, so people can actually jack our stuff, okay. Oh, good lots of stuff here. Uh, definitely want the gas masks and the rubber for sure. Is there any hinges? We really need hinges. Medicine is always good. Oh yes, the transistors. We wanted some of that. 
Well, we'll have to come back for the rest. Actually, uh... Let's leave this pipe for now, and we will come and take this fuel that I think we are running low right now. boxes. We need more hinges. Small crates. Any cheaper storage options? Uh, no, unfortunately. Stuff, so we gotta get you back. And she's still on. Nation suit. We gotta get that off her. And then, like, I guess we gotta deal with rats. Where's the rat traps? Oh, I'm still missing hinges, right? Actually, I think I'm going to send the kid out with an adult here. And we'll send them back out to the farm, I guess. shelter again. Can I leave outside safely? 
don't want to leave the fuel out there. That's too valuable. We'll go with this for now. Another expedition. Let's try this unknown waypoint for now. Oh, we can't do that. We don't have enough. Yes, let's cancel. We need more gas masks. Of wool. Oh, rats. Um, hmm. I guess this, this this sort of run is just. I might. I think I'm just gonna abandon this run actually. Now that I know a little more of the f how to be a bit more efficient. Whoops, didn't mean to start that. Let's start a brand new one, I think it'll be faster. done everything. Alright, here we go. Let's, right away, let's craft an extra room. So we'll have space. And we'll send the expedition right away. Increasing the efficiency of the water was a pretty good idea right off the bat. Uh, lens. Ooh, hinges. That's what I was hoping for. I think we can leave the water. And we can leave anything that isn't needed for recycling. Oh, very nice. That sander is going to be handy.
toilet trees working. Actually, let's upgrade this bench first this time. Now that I'm actually getting used to the buttons, it's not too bad on the controller. It's, obviously, it's still not as good as a mouse and keyboard, but for me, it'll do. Send another expedition, I guess. Actually, they're a little tired, so we'll let them be. Do want to craft the bed? I think we're going to have to shuffle stuff around. Craft another expansion? No, we're short cement. Alright, let's actually just rearrange stuff. I think we'll be a better option here. Little kid and build us a bed, I guess. We're going to need rat traps. They're going to start popping up soon, so I figure it'll be a good investment. What else can we craft here? Let's do some gas masks. Oh, what's with the slow mo time? Oh, okay. I think... Alright, so, uh, left on the D-pad actually slows time. That'll be handy. Okay, let's send out another expedition. 
position now. Can I craft? Let's do another gas mask. Yeah, let's we'll put a snare that way. We can get some rabbits. Hazmat suit first. I wish you could set it that they would automatically pick up the hat the suit before they left. It's a little frustrating to have to stop them and get that done. found. Man, brutal. That was a massive waste. Still short for that. Is there anything we can store meat in yet? Ah, okay. Here is our small freezer. Ah, uh, I kind of regret building that rat trap now. Uh, not much we can do about it at this point. Uh, let's do a few more gas masks. 
It would have been nice that you could queue multiple items beyond the two. Ah, excellent. The limestone will... The limestone we need for more cement. We are definitely going to be expanding soon. I wonder what we need for the picks, the lock picks. Those seem to be really helpful for the people who are exploring. Okay, so we need a tier three. Send out another expedition soon. I think we'll, that backpack is a good idea. Oh, we can have multiple people working in the workbench. Excellent. That will make my life quite a bit easier. water. Okay, we'll expand it. Abandon the expedition for now, and let's see what else we can do here. Yeah, another crate would probably be... More storage will be handy here. Alright, let's send that expedition now. We are really low on water. Fortunately, we still don't have enough for leather. Now 
now we can send out that expedition. Lump some hinges. At least we got the lens. And rubber. Rubber is good. Send the other two out now. Uh, no, we don't want to leave the shelter un unmanned. Uh, we'll just wait for them to come back. Yes, hinges. I have never been so excited for hinges. I think will be helpful because we do need more. We're always going to need concrete. <laughs> do we have visitors? Or they're just coming by. Fridge going right away. All right, what do you want? Uh, you want to make a trade? Let's see, antibiotics, rubber is good. Oh, the hinges, yes, definitely the hinges. And, you know what? Pretty good, because I'm about to build that uh, fridge. So I think the hinges will be the one we'll trade for. What can we give up? So that guy's the bodyguard. Anyways, let's craft that second shelter room and get that fridge going.
Need another. Another expedition. Was actually the default option instead of going to party. I think it would be more efficient. I want what now what brings someone like you to my door uh, match options okay just passing by well favors are favors let's spread our wares and barter oh gas is expensive seems a little weird. I mean, it was a fair trade. Oh, yes, gas mask. Alright, so I think that puts us about an hour. So would I put more hours into this game? Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun now that I actually got through the, past the tutorial and I'm actually getting to know how this game runs. Mind you, there are still some improvements I would have liked to see. For example, being able to rebind keys for me as a Colmac user who uses a non-standard layout switching back to WSAD is a real pain in the butt for me so I would have loved to see that implemented. This game is kind of like The Sims with a little bit of survival element and I like that. There's a lot of 
juggling multiple balls in the air and whatnot. Some of the writing is a little nonsensical. It's I think it's partially because of the random generation and partially not so great writing, but frankly, I don't think I'd be playing something like this for the story anyways, so it's not a huge deal. The graphics I like, except for identifying individual characters. Maybe over time I would be able to familiarize myself with which character is who, but I just found within this first hour I was having a real hard time trying to match character portraits with the actual characters themselves. So is there a specific group of gamers who will enjoy this? I think people who like survival games and sim games will definitely be into this, especially if you like the whole Fallout series. It's not a perfect game by any means, but I think if you can get past the humps, it's something you can really spend a lot of hours on. So that's it for now. I hope to see you soon. This is Jamie from Gaps Computers signing off.